junior technician of Land Visor and Lightning Research. Today we're going to make the four electrode probes. The finished four electrode probe will look like that. You see four electrodes, metal spikes, T connector, PVC pipes, wire go inside, and here you have a banana plant. And then we'll show you step by step how to make this from the kit and from the household material. Okay. So here are the materials that you'll need. You'll need a 3 fourths PVC pipe, one section of pipe, two T-shape, accepting 3 quarter inch pipe for all fittings, 3 fourths of pipe of all three ends. And as you finish, it'll look like this. You need two 3 fourths PVC cups, which plug in into the ends, it makes the ends bigger and thicker and about 30 H and I would insulate in standard wire. Preferably two colors. Today we have red and black. You'll need a one inch to two inch dimensional Velcro strip and that's optional. Three to six five screws for wood, that's also optional. The, the next thing you'll need is the do-yourself for like an electrode probe kit. The four stainless steel electrodes and we provide you sharp electrode bolts. And we have 12 nuts which we may need to be in the bolts. And four crimp on connectors. And that's that's where you can have a connection. And then we have four banana plugs. And you can tell that it's a banana plug because it looks like a banana. And that's what's in the electrical probe, probe kit. And now Larissa Piloco, or AKA my mom, will show you how to make it. You will need tools. PVC pipe cutter and wire cutter, wire stripper, and wire crumper, all in one. Very good, useful tool. And you also will need an electric drill, preferably mounted on the bench. Here you see the probe is four electrodes A, B, M, N. The distance between all electrodes are the same. Then we're going to be making a um, four electrode probe and vendor configuration with the um, inter electrode distance of a foot, 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Vendor means all three distances are the same. So by using that uh, do it yourself method described in the kit, uh, we calculated that you have to cut two pieces of PVC pipe of 19 inches and that's what I've been doing. I measured 19 inches and 19 inches and I'm gonna cut it. Eventually this goes to the T connector like that. Now connect them in a T connector as far as they go. Usually there is a about two inches here you can see that pipe goes up to the net. You may use a mallet or you can just tap on it. These parts coming from the center, you're gonna have six inches for the electrode M and N. Mark this part, and then from that point, you'll have 12 inches to the N and B electrode. Why six inches here? Because this is in the middle, six and six, and the same goes for the Thing. 6 inches and 12 inches. Now you did mark those spots and you need to drill. You will drill vertical through those dots. You have a quarter inch drill bit. Make sure it fits. Then move the pipe a little bit and drill 
just one side of the bar. Next to this straight pole. This is the opening the bar is going to go through. And then connect to the electron. Same for all four. In the result, you see one straight, half of there. Those eventually go together like that, as you saw before. But you need to have wires in here. Usually we use black wires for um, M and N electrodes, the inner, the inside electrode. The outside have a red wire. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have a piece of wire and put it through the opening which is not straight. Through the pipe, just on one side of the pipe. Just fit it through till it comes out of the end. Strip a little bit of the wire. This is 16 gauge wire, so use 16 gauge wire stripper. Like that. And then a piece of wire, you need to connect it with ring connector. Like that. Make sure that the wire keeps snugly in the ring connector. Crap. This method, no soldering. That's what I like. It. No soldering, everything is pretty easy to. wires through their holes, you have one half of the T probe here. Here how you connect the electrodes. Wire goes here, you put it on a stripped wire, you put the green connector here securely, then you get your electrodes. Those are like sharpened bolts from hardware store. You get it from us or you can just buy and sharpen it yourself. I put that one extra one on the top. can tighten it up later. So the hole goes through the hole, uh, one quarter of the inch of the hole, the hole. Then you put another nut here. And a little ring connector and secure it with another nut. Then you do that for another one. Red wire, A electrode, this is potential electrode. Now, since we have a two parts of the full electrode probes, all the electrodes are connected. This part, this part. And the wire is going up into the handle. We need to make sure that the, all the wires have the same length. So we put them together. Cut them out to all the same length. And we're stripping the wire. Strip about an inch or so from all four. We have a little thinner wire. I'm gonna strip more and just bulk it up. My red wire is thinner than the black ones. The perfect gauge from 12 to 18, good for that project. 12 is a little bit thick. I'm using these banana plugs, right now it's available on Amazon. It's a little no solder plug, but you need to unscrew the little hole in here, open it up, prepare the wire, like twist it, make a little loop. Put it in, align the loop with the hole. Disconnects in the field, get a little screwdriver and you can fix it right there. Then you need to do the same thing for all four of them. 